We have an incredibly rare and fascinating phenomenon coming with the emergence of two cicada broods. Broods 13 and 19 are set to rock the world in 2024. What makes this emergence so special? And how can you become a citizen scientist during the emergence? Let's get into it. While there are over 3,000 species of cicada in the world, the vast majority are annual cicadas, meaning they emerge every year. Of those 3,000 species, only seven are known to be periodical cicadas. They emerge once every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species. Here in the Midwest, annual cicadas are big and green, while periodical cicadas are about half the size, with black bodies and red eyes. What makes 2024 extraordinary is the fact that both broods 13 and 19 are emerging simultaneously after spending 17 and 13 years, respectively, underground. These two broods have a unique geographic spread covering vast areas across the United States. Check out this map from the U.S. Forest Service of all the broods of periodical cicadas. Brood 19 is shown in blue and brood 13 in brown. From the Midwest to the East Coast, billions of cicadas are gearing up for an epic takeover. Cicadas are meticulous planters. They spend the majority of their lives underground as nymphs, feeding on tree roots. When the soil temperature reaches exactly 64 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, they know it's showtime. They crawl out, shed their exoskeletons, and transform into something incredible and loud, incredibly loud. As a matter of fact, you'll probably hear them before you see them, and it's only the males making the noise. Male cicadas produce a distinctive sound to attract females, creating a chorus that reaches deafening levels. They've been waiting over 99% of their lives to sing their love songs, so when it happens, it's serious. A tree full of males singing in unison can reach a volume of 100 decibels, which is about as loud as a lawnmower, a chainsaw, or even a rock show. With any luck, they find a mate, and after finding a mate, the male dies. Then, after laying her eggs, so does the female. I know it's sad, but they've really led a full life. Considering the fact that 98% of periodical cicadas don't even live to see their second birthday, the ones that actually survive until emergence are definitely the lucky ones. After the eggs hatch, new cicada nymphs head underground and will spend the next 13 or 17 years following in their parents' footsteps and repeating the cycle. As for the next co-emergence between broods 13 and 19, you'll need to wait about 221 more years for it to come around again, so enjoy it. What about citizen science opportunities? This is going to be a short-lived experience from late April, typically through June. Now, you can totally chill in the moment and simply enjoy it when the cicadas come, and there's nothing wrong with that. Or you can be a part of this incredible phenomenon. Citizen scientists across the country are documenting and sharing their experiences. You can join in the fun by participating in local events, recording cicada sounds, and sharing your observations online. The app called Cicada Safari is a great place to start, and I'll link it in the description for this video just in case you're interested. Want to find out more about these curious little periodical buggies? You can do so by subscribing to this channel and checking out the next video right here.